What is going on guys? I'm finally back with a brand new YouTube video. I have not made a video about my filmmaking journey in about eight months, I believe. I think it was like back in July, 2023, or maybe even further than that a little bit, but um, anyways, I'm finally doing more videos. It's 2024. I want to Keep me to my word. I'm going to make more videos like this. Showing my journey. Uh, my struggles. And all the problems that I have. or And all the ups. and There's all the ups as well. All the good stuff that happens. Throughout my journey. Of being a VR first slash DP. So. First video back. I'm, film, I'm, I'm filming some rugby tomorrow morning. Uh, in Wichita, Kansas. Also, I do want to explain. I did film a video like a few weeks ago, but I didn't like it, which I know is a bad habit to be in. And I know from now on, I'm just going to film a video, do it all, and upload it. Doesn't matter how bad it is, how good it is. I'm going to try not to be a perfectionist on these vlogs. If anything, try to be more perfectionist on my video work instead of these vlogs. Because I do always want to give you all like the best content and try to explain everything that I'm doing. And sometimes I don't do that as well. So yeah. But now I'm starting up a new video. We have rugby in Wichita tomorrow. It's about a two hour and 45 minute drive from where I'm at. We're just going down there for the day and then we're coming straight back right after. I still have the GH5 with the 10 to 25 Leica lens. We got a few new things since the last time I made a video, which is this recording top handle, which I absolutely love. Great addition to the thing. Sucks that it has to have like this weird cord I don't really like how it's like just everywhere on it. And then I also added V-mount plate, which now allows me to run everything through to the V-mount so I don't have to worry about regular batteries. I still do have the uh, battery grip, but that's where I put that thing. That's where I put the demo battery in. And then I also have a regular battery just in case the V-mount ever dies, but I have used a V-mount battery all day and still never swapped it. Another thing I got is the variable ND filter map box. So the inside, the ND changes. I don't have it in there right now, but I will put it in there for tomorrow's shoot. Cause it will, we, will be, we will be outside and it will be sunny. And yeah, so I'm just getting everything set up, making sure everything works charging my v-mounts and making sure all my sd cards are good and ready to go for tomorrow shoot one thing i did want to talk about was storing my lights in a hard case like this um i was thinking that this would be able to fit them but all the accessories that come with this these two uh, small rig 120, RC120Bs, will definitely not fit in here. I might be able to find two big hard cases just to store these two lights in. Plus with all the cords and the other accessories that come with it. Because I, I hate carrying both of these around every time I need some lights. And I also do need on one of these. This is like the two or three foot uh, light dome or whatever. I'm thinking about either getting one more of those or getting like the round like bubble one. Cause I have some interview shoots coming up that I will need that for. It is now shoot day, just packing up the car. Love just being able to just bring like two things, my camera bag and a tripod and just get to shooting. Got about a two an hour and 45 minute 
drive. Not bad. I absolutely hate driving, but this one is probably the best out of most. Sometimes I travel to OKC, and that's pretty easy. But yeah, we're just heading there. Going to get there about an hour early, set up, get on my camera settings right, and film some B-roll, pre-game B-roll before the match. Now at the field, getting my SD cards formatted and ready. I use these rugged orange SD cards, and I also have some Angel Birds that I use. Um, I have four cards in total. I have a few more, but I don't really use those unless it's for like an audio kit or a drone. But they're 128 gigabytes. Great cards. Love the Angel Bird ones. I definitely should utilize the double card slot function, but sometimes I never do just because I'm lazy. But that's a very bad habit to have. So I'm definitely going to start doing that a lot more, just putting double cards in there. And I got a few options. I can either just use the first slot and whenever that runs out it'll go to the second or use both of them simultaneously and get double the footage to have backups which is definitely a must at some points um, especially shoots like this where it's not too long but I'm filming for a long period of time because I'm filming the entire game so I think I'm gonna switch to doing that where it records to both GH5 users um, do you guys prefer using 200 up to 800 ISO because I've been using 200 a lot recently because it's gave me the cleanest image out of my camera and basically zero noise from what I've seen as long as my image is exposed properly. I've also used 800 before a little bit in the past um, and sometimes I'll occasionally go up to that as well just for like darker scenarios. And I've also seen a lot of people use 400. So let me know in the comments what you guys use if you guys run a GH5. So I love this tripod. It's the iFootage tripod with a Komodo head. Not the K5, but the other one. I do want the K5 just because it's a little bit bigger. It might support my camera a little bit better. But I think this tripod is perfect for like smaller cameras and like sports type stuff because it's carbon fiber, super light, um, and it gets just the right height. There is a little rod that comes down from the tripod head that you can use to just get that extra distance or that extra height for your shots. But sometimes I don't use it because I like to get pretty low uh, for my sports stuff. I just think it looks better in the highlights. And also it's just not a bad shot for the full game recaps. One thing I love about crop censored or micro four thirds cameras is because when you have a lens, you just get that extra little distance that you don't get with the full frame. And with the 35 to 100 that I have on right now, it puts me right at 70 to 200 because it's a two times crop on the GH5. But also I've been looking at the FX30 and I think that paired with the 35 to 150 would be absolutely perfect because it'll put it at 50 millimeters so I can get that wide angle if I needed to and then it'll punch in at like almost 250 which is a little bit further than what I'm getting right now using a towel on your knees is like the best thing to do if you don't have pants on when it's hot and especially if the grass is really dry or if you're filming on turf I would film standing up but I think the shots just look a little bit better, even for the highlight video, and also the end of the game.
short little hour and a half shoot, two, well, two and a half hour shoot. Now we'll get that on.